Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I still get quite a lot of people asking me why they're not getting 23H2 on Windows 11. Once again, you know, it's something that you uh, don't worry about, really. It's it's not a problem. Uh, there's still a lot of blockers, and I think that the co-pilot is one part of why things are actually happening So um, and, and being blocked. So it's part of... Part of it is that uh, with um, jumping icons around and stuff. But I think it's more than that. There are still a lot of things that I think 23H2 is not yet totally compatible or tested, fully tested. Uh, Microsoft has not really released any you know, general availability um, for 23H2. So some of you have it, but I think if you don't have it at this point and you're on 22H2, I think a lot of you out there have not um, don't see it anymore. If you did see it in the past, I think it might not be showing up for anybody right now. I think they've kind of put a hold on it a little bit. So we'll see. Anyways, Microsoft has this uh, tendency to uh, send us regular... Uh, moments where they're going to tell us, well, you know, okay, well, this is where we are at, and uh, now it's available for everybody, or we un unlocked or unblocked different things. Uh, but, you know, the important thing is to get Windows updates, and that is the primary problem that, that should always work. So if you are getting, you know, your Windows updates, your security updates, and all of that, even if you're on 22H2 and not seeing 23H2 offered, it's not much of a problem. Also, think about the fact that most of the new features that are in 23H2 were actually released on 22H2. So that means you might have a lot of the features or most of the features anyways, because 23H2 is just an enablement package itself um, that doesn't change too much uh, things around so you might already have anyways everything needed so just you know be happy you get uh, 20 uh, you get your updates your security updates that's the important thing and I still see a few of you saying that you're on 21 h2 not getting updates anymore you will have to force to 22 h2 at least or 23 h2 as you cannot stay there as the operating system will get um, more and more security problems and will be a security concern and hazard as time goes by. But uh, hang in there. 23H2 is going to happen at some point. And, uh, I mean, you still got until October, if not November this year, before it actually, uh, you know, moves on to uh, something else. So we'll have 24H2 and then you'll have to move on. But still, we're just January. The uh, the year is is just beginning, so uh, at some point you'll get it, um, for sure. And as for the um, Moment 5 features, uh, it's still supposed to happen somewhere in February or March. So for those that weren't doing a bad uh, Moment 5 update, uh, that will, of course, require 23H2. Moment 5 will appear only on 23H2 machines. Uh, maybe at that point or at some point where that happens, things could change also. Uh, we'll see how it happens and uh, what what will be next. And of course, remember that the Moment 5 coming up in February, March is the last Moment update. Then after that, we're going to be at yearly updates rather than little updates here and there throughout the year, with, which are called Moments. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.